हेलो एवरीवन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट न्योनेटल और प्रिमिटिव रिफ्लेक्सेस लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर डेफिनेशन ऑफ द न्योनेटल रिफ्लेक्सेस व्हाट आर द वेरियस न्योनेटल रिफ्लेक्सेस एंड व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ न्योनेटल रिफ्लेक्सेस न्योनेटल रिफ्लेक्सेस आल्सो नोन एज प्रिमिटिव रिफ्लेक्स और रिलीज रिफ्लेक्स दीज आर ब्रेन स्टेम मीडिएटेड ऑटोमेटिक मूवमेंट्स इन द न्यू it may begins as early as in 25 to 26 weeks of gestation age fully present at birth in full term newborn and disappear when the brain functions are mature and voluntary motor activity replace the neonatal reflexes what are the various neonatal reflexes moro reflex palmer grass reflex planter grass reflex stepping or walking reflex sucking and rooting reflex tonic neck reflex gallant reflex glabular tac etc details of the moro reflex i already uploaded in this youtube channel today i am going to tell you the details of palmer grass reflex how to elicit the palmer grass reflex in newborn should be in supine position and examiner insert his index finger into the palm of newborn from ulnar side and apply gentle pressure to the palm in response to this flexion of newborn's all finger around the examiner's finger occur so this is the way to elicit the palmer grass reflex in this picture you can see the grass reflex it is start to appear in fetus at 16 weeks of gestation age this can be seen in antenatal usg it fully mature at 25 to 26 weeks of gestation age so in newborn more than 26 weeks of gestation age you will find that palmer grass reflex is present it disappears at 3 to 4 months of age but it can be weakly present between 4 to 6 months also but it should not be present after 6 month in normal infant so how to interpret the palmer grass reflex or we can say what is the significance of palmer grass reflex it should be normally present between birth to 3 months of age between birth after 26 weeks of gestation age to 3 months of age if it is symmetrically absent that means infant is suffering from upper brain lesion either due to severe birth asphyxia or intracranial hemorrhage or birth injury or infection in the brain pyomeningitis or if it is asymmetrically absent it can be due to peripheral or spinal cord involvement and after 6 months of age if it is persist symmetrically persist in both upper limbs that means infant is going to develop the quadriplegic spastic cerebral palsy if it is asymmetrically persist in one limb then there is a chances of developing the hemiplegic spastic cp and in athetoid type of cp it is weakly present so by this palmer grass reflex we can assess the neurological function of the infant and further investigation and treatment can we can decide accordingly thank you